Reporter on KD0WTE, AC0RA. I'm up here, Echo November 33, Tango Victor. It's like 140 miles or so from you. Over. Oh, roger that. Yeah, you're coming in very good. I don't have an S meter on this radio, but real good. All right. Well, thanks for the uh, contact here. <laughs> I turned my beam to uh, vertical and I could no longer hear you. Yep, yep, the cross polarity will kill you. I'm running like 300 watts. I can probably decrease. You're pretty strong. Uh, but I got a decent, decent, I found a decent spot. There's some trees off in the distance, but as I was telling you the other night, the first mile is the uh, the important part. Yeah, roger that. All right, well, hey, thanks for the contact. And uh, uh, do you want to try anything else? I guess I don't, I don't really have anything else uh, in the truck here, just FM. Uh, you could try decreasing your power now and see if you want to do that. Uh, before you were just barely, I mean I got the squelch open, but you were just just barely underneath the uh, the noise there. Oh, roger that. Uh, I re-aimed the antenna. You must be almost straight north of me, or at least that's where I'm getting you. Yeah, that, that should work for you. You're only running two elements, so you got a big beam width. It's about, it'd be uh, about 350 degrees for you, but yeah, that'll work. Yeah, roger that. I'm actually pointing slightly west of the straight north, um, is where I'm pointing. Well, this is cool, yeah. And, um, do you know your grid square? How far away are you from, uh, from this hill, approximately? Yeah, I'm Echo November 33 Tango Victor. You're Ian 41 Bravo Whiskey. Uh, it's about 138 miles. Uh, it's about 138 miles. <laughs> Not bad. All right, well, cool. I don't want to hold up this beam antenna forever. It does get heavy after a while. But, um, yeah, this is awesome. Just think, if this was single sideband, that would uh, it'd be 100% copy of the whole time, I guess. Oh, you're 100% copy here. You're, you know, no problem. Up and down a little bit. Uh, of course, I got that preamp. That helps a little bit. I got, a, I got, uh, I probably have a better receiver in my radio than you too. I'm sure. I'm sure those commercial radios have uh, not the best receiver, and they might, but they have high squelch too, unless you've changed it. And but anyway, yeah, at, uh, 100, 140 miles is no problem. Uh, just about any time, and especially when you uh, put the beam horizontal. I mean, you get more gain and whatnot. All right, I don't know if you're copying me still, but I'm starting to lose you. Uh, you're way down in the scratchy there. Um, so I will say 7-3, and thanks for the good contact here. Okay, you're still S9 here. You're still S9. No problem, but like I said, I probably have a better receiver. Uh, we'll see you later. I'm going to start heading back south toward town there. KD0WTE, AC0RA. All right, sounds good. And, uh, yeah, I bet you have a really good receiver compared to mine. I do have the squelch. You're, you're fine into the squelch. I have it set at 1. Um, so it's working good. But, uh, yeah, thanks for the contact. Have a safe trip home. AC0RA, KD0WTE Portable. Okay, we'll see you later. Uh, maybe we'll catch you, catch you later on the repeater or something when I get closer there. See you later, AC0RA.